much about Ireland, but uh, in the Netherlands, uh, I must admit that landscape as such is not a protected category. Um, but it does not make a whole lot of sense to protect it because it's 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 a it's it's a huge area and there's inherent dynamic. So um, you cannot freeze it in that way. Um, so what kind of but you described with the windmills, for example. Yeah. If you have a historic, it's not just the windmills, it's the setting that makes the windmills part of the historic landscape. If you then put a contemporary wind farm into that setting, it changes the whole sure. significance. True, yeah, that's definitely a system there, and uh, as it's a World Heritage Site, um, we do protect that. Mm. Uh, but other landscapes, there are major discussions now in the Netherlands about uh, energy transition and how do you uh, integrate large scale windmill uh, uh, complexes into, um, into the countryside. Uh, but there are also solutions to that. For instance, we have the more modernist landscapes that thrive by their long sidelines and huge um, plots. And it fits there much better than, 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 than in a small scale landscape. So, by a, you can also diverge or differentiate there your, uh, your policy. But it's always a discussion uh, between, in this case, ministries of economic affairs and of culture, you know, so we're not, uh, debate's not uh, closed yet. Um, and the same holds for uh, water safety. Um, water safety is, of course, with the Netherlands being uh, below sea level. Half of it, low sea level, seven meters. It's a huge um, discussion with the rising sea levels. Uh, we can build ever higher dikes. Where does it end? So now we uh, implement a more adaptive approach of providing space to water, um, allowing certain meadows or, or farmland to be, you know, underwater. Um, but where do you? choose those locations, well, looking back at history, you can see locations that were actually put underwater for defense or for other purposes. So then we, based on those narratives, actually, then find better spots than others. And then we often see that if you come up with such plans that local inhabitants are much more um, happy with it because it has some you know, uh, ground, some foundation. I don't think I answered your question, but nonetheless, I could say something about challenges in the Netherlands. Thank you. Any more questions? Can I ask one question? Do you start Maria? I mean, uh, in for one out of the four uh, examples that you said, the uh, stone walls, uh, spending, let's say, as a citizen, I'm asking out of curiosity. Spending uh, lots of the vacation in the cyclades and uh, having land also in the cyclades, and we have these stone walls, but because of the rapid touristic development in the islands, we see that the technique is used but adapted by using mortar. So, what is the policy for that since it's the facade that is kept but not the real technique? Uh, the technique itself, uh, is. There's not uh, included any mortar. What you describe is not a dry stone wall. It is something else. It's something new. We did not talk about it, but uh, it is true that uh, uh, although dry stone walling is a, a, a craft that can be carried out by most people that live uh, in rural areas, it doesn't require high skills, at least for simple walls, not for more uh, complex uh, buildings. Uh, it is true that uh, less and less people tend to use it. Uh, we have not uh, have yet uh, uh, developed a full-fledged policy on uh, teaching what and how a dry stone wall is kept and built. Uh, we are about to do it. The first step is to enhance the value of this technique. 
uh, in how in what are the many benefits of using Christ on wallet in all the occasions that all the generations need. Uh, that is a skill that has to be learned and it is not a skill that has to be looked down as something inferior to building. Uh, we start from here and we we'll go on. But what you describe, it is not dry stone. I know. And I, and I, and I Simple think, wall. And I, I know because I, I see people are not going to get from that. So exactly. they are renovating their houses or building houses and they're living with it in the part of the stone put together. So this tradition is being destroyed. So I was wondering how quality and how to do what is being done. As with all the ICH elements, the first thing is to enhance their value. They, they all, all of what we talk about, ICH is something, it's an everyday culture. People do not look at it as something that they have to uh, uh, cherish and uh, develop. The first thing we do is to say that your heritage is very valuable. And Bryston is, is just one example. Should, with the chip building is another one. If people do not understand that what they know uh, is valuable, uh, they do not uh, transmit it, they do not use it. Uh, okay, dry stone is one stone on top of the other, but <laughs> it is, there is some craft here and it is a crucial craft that we want to preserve and transmit to uh, future generations. Saying that, I think uh, just to put an emphasis on inherit, this is part of the things that we do on inherit, because we will develop this sort of teaching material so we can go to the stakeholder at the local level and educate him or her on, uh, on the value of such a, on the value of such cultural elements. Just the same issue, landscape of, of, of uh, dry walls, stone walls, which is a very complicated issue. When we were, when I was at the university at Gen, we studied several islands uh, uh, in Cyclades, particularly. The decline uh, in, the, in the destruction started in the 50s and 60s, in the uh, rural urban migration. People who, who were, because this is a system that requires permanent practical maintenance. Every spring, uh, they have to put together <coughs> back to uh, the stones that have been carried down by the rains, uh, etc. And uh, of course, that has also had other repercussions because it has led to a, to the soil, a loss of soil, which was very uh, crucial for uh, actually, uh, for the, it's a very rare uh, resource for the So this, uh, the, the destruction of the stone walls led to a destruction to a lot of soil, so a lot of agriculture, plus people were, the most dynamic elements were living to with cities. And uh, it has reappeared though, now with uh, tourism, as an element that has to be introduced back or maintained, let's say, in the context of maintaining the image of the destination. And of course, we have the Granada Convention on but uh, preservation of landscape as well. So it's a very complicated issue to, to maintain it. And uh, it's important to keep it uh, as, a, as a big issue for the Minister of Culture as well. Thank you very much. Any more questions? Thank you. Uh, we can have a break. I think we're almost there. Thank, thank you very much. I thank all the panelists for their wonderful